Please be seated. The court is now in session. Le président, l'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear the testimony of a witness. Un témoin. Through TCW 944. Miss Sekolbuti, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceedings? Sur la présence des parties et autres personnes à l'audience. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Sont présentes. And Counsel Kong Sum On, Maître Kong Sum On, the Defence Counsel for Kisum Pon will be a bit late today. And as for Noon Chi, he is present in the holding cell downstairs as he requests to have his rights to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the Grafie. The witness who is to continue his testimony today, that is through TCW944, is present in the courtroom. He has a counsel, Moon Sovan, for this morning as his duty counsel, and Mr. Dutch Perry will be present Maître in the Doug afternoon. Paris the reserve witness that is through TCW852 confirms that le through his possibility he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, nor to any of the civil parties, parties admitted in this case. This reserve witness will take an oath before the other club statue this morning at 10 o'clock. He will also have a moon so one as his duty de Maître thank you. Moon Sovan. President, uh, thank you, Mr. Sekolbuti. Le président, merci. The chamber now decides on the request by Noon Il appartient à présent à la chambre de se prononcer the sur la demande de Noon Chia. Celui-ci a exprimé son souhait de renoncer à son droit d'être physiquement dans le he confirms that due to his poor health condition, that he is had back pain, and 2015, that he cannot sit for long, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to have his right to participate in and be present at the 23rd February 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequences of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, Dated 23rd February 2015, 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nunji is that he has severe back pain and dizziness and cannot sit for long, and recommends that the chamber so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunji she is requested to follow the proceedings remotely de from a holding cell downstairs via an audio-visual means for today's proceedings as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AV unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. Pour que l'accusé Nunchea puisse suivre l'audience d'aujourd'hui à distance. The chamber would like uh, to inquire from duty counsel Moon Sovan. Maître Moon Sovan. You are the duty counsel for uh, this uh, witness. Vous assistez le témoin ce matin. And that is based on his uh, request. Suite à la demande de ce dernier. Mr. Uh, Mung Sawan, can you inform Maître, the Chamber of your uh, ID, your office address? Quel est votre numéro d'accréditation ainsi que 
l'adresse de votre cabinet Thank you, Mr. Maître Munsovan. Merci, Monsieur le Président. My name is Je m'appelle Munsovan. My ID is 561. Mon numéro d'accréditation est 561. Notre cabinet est au village Slow de Bantichas, district, district de Slokram, à Siem Reap, dans la province de Siem Reap. I am part of the uh, team. Some point about. Je fais partie de l'équipe Sampoa Nechebap, le président. Merci. The chamber will now hand the floor to the prosecution to continue putting questions to this witness. Pour continuer à interroger and le témoin. you are reminded that the combined time for the prosecution and the litigation lawyers for civil parties is for this uh, entire morning session. L'accusation et proceed. la partie civile disposent ensemble de toute la matinée. Je vous en prie. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning, Merci. Mr. President. Your Honor. Uh, good morning, Mr. Juges. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Um, when we ended last week, la semaine dernière, we were discussing the subject nous en étions à discuter des interrogatoires à Krang Tachan. And if I may start, um, during your first OCIJ interview, Dans le you drew a map that showed your recollection of the Krang Tachan compound, de uh, which is the last page of your statement, D-125-129. Uh, do you still have uh, the statements from last week? And if so, uh, could you please refer to the last page of D-125-129, the drawing of Krang Tachan? Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, if uh, the witness uh, uh, with your leave, Mr. President, si if, if I also, uh, we may also show that on the screen. Faire apparaître ce document à um, your map, uh, Mr. Mr. Witness, is drawn a little differently le than OCIJ's map Votre plan est uh, that I showed you last week, uh, in that in your drawing, que je vous ai the south passé, side of effet, the compound dessin, is at the top de instead of the bottom. En haut et non pas en bas. Now, does this refresh your recollection that the interrogation site at the Crank Chan compound was located at the south side of the compound. Réponse. Yes. The interrogation was in that oui, direction. Le site d'interrogatoire était à cet endroit. And your map, your map also shows two votre plan, buildings that are marked as prisoner buildings. One on the east side of the compound and one on the west side. Dans la partie est, and dans la partie I have a little ouest. trouble uh, reading your handwriting where you indicated the distance, your estimated distance between the prisoner buildings and the interrogation site. Can you read for me your estimate of those distances between the east, between both the east building and the interrogation site and the distance between the west building and the interrogation site? The uh, distance from distance one building to another is about 40 meters. Et d'environ 40 meters. Can block on now. So the distance between each building is about 40 meters. Donc entre chaque bâtiment, il y a une quarantaine de mètres. Now in the middle of your map. Is a building uh, which is marked as the kitchen, and below that, to the north of that on this map, is another building that appears to be divided into two rooms. Can you tell us what the building is that you drew uh, to the north of the kitchen? The two room building 
Le bâtiment à deux salles the, uh, appartenait au chef de la prison. In fact, the building itself uh, was not that big. Ce bâtiment n'était pas aussi it grand. It was only réalité. about three or four meters wide. Il ne faisait que trois ou quatre mètres de large. Rooms. Et il y avait une cloison qui ainsi créait deux pièces. And is this Question. the building uh, where you worked uh, when you were typing documents for the prison chief? Is this the building where you worked when you were typing documents for the prison chief? When I uh, typed, in fact, they, uh, I did the typing in the room of the prison chief. C'est dans la pièce du chef de la prison que je tapais à la machine. Um, how far was this location, Question. the prison chief's uh, room, à quelle distance how far was it from the interrogation cette site? Cette chambre du chef de la prison se trouvait-elle du site d'interrogatoire? The distance Réponse. between the prison chief's Entre room la chambre du chef de la prison to the interrogation site was about 70 uh, meters, or a little bit above 70. Un peu plus de 70 mètres. Uh, last week, I read to you uh, your statement to OCIJ that you saw them take prisoners for beatings and interrogations every day pour être frappé et interrogé et ce vous avez dit uh, avoir entendu les cris des room. prisonniers qui venaient de Could la you salle d'interrogatoire. Depuis typing, le bâtiment où vous dactylographiez, est-ce que vous entendiez ce cri ou bien ne les entendiez-vous que lorsque vous étiez à l'extérieur de ce bâtiment et que vous vous déplaciez dans l'enceinte de la prison I only Réponse. could hear the screaming while I was in the room and while I was typing. Dans la salle, However, en train if de I was at the guard post outside, I could not hear. Cependant, si j'étais au poste de garde à l'extérieur, Now, in regards Question. to the building that was used for the interrogations of prisoners, Uh, can you tell us, was this a building that had walls, La salle or was it an open structure? Dans un bâtiment doté de murs, ou bien ce bâtiment était-il une structure ouverte? In a, a simple word, it was not a complicated building. Simplement, There was a, a wall, un bâtiment a wooden assez sommaire, and il y avait the un roof mur de bois roof. et il y avait un toit de chaume. However, the, wall was, uh, the walls covered all corners of the building and we uh, could Cela not dit, see through. Il y avait des murs de tous les côtés et donc on ne pouvait pas voir l'intérieur. Can I clarify, are you talking about Question. the interrogation site or are you talking, you talking about the building? Where the prison chief ou du was located and where you typed documents. Où se trouvait le chef de prison et où vous dactylographiez des documents. I refer to Réponse. the interrogation room. Je parlais de la salle d'interrogatoire. I want to Question. read to you some testimony Je we've already heard in this trial about that interrogation site uh, to ask ici. you about. Uh, in et qui porte sur the trial transcript for the 4th of February of this year, E1 slash 256.1, at approximately 15.13.05, uh, civil party Sai Sen testified as follows. Quote, question. Question. And was the interrogation room La salle built of strong and solid walls? En and solide, if not, what si were the walls non, made of? Les murs? Answer. Et voici la a fait. The front wall was Le made of wooden planks, avant était fait and it was just low wooden planks up to the height of the waist. Un mur qui For the other walls, they used coconut tree leaves in between murs, bamboo sticks. 
And on the following day, at E1 slash 257.1, approximately 10.55.20, question, if you stood outside this building, let's say a meter away, could you see through the wall, the leaves, the wood, or couldn't you? Answer, we could see through because the front wall of the interrogation room had a lower wall. And as I said, there was a wall at the back where they hung their weapons and other equipment. And equipment. Uh, Mr. Witness, does this Monsieur refresh your recollection that on the front side of the interrogation site, you could see and hear what was going on inside because it was not a completely walled structure? Réponse. Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. However, uh, around étant, the interrogation rooms, they grew uh, vegetables and plants, des including et des plantes, banana trees and coconut trees, and it was a very hard to see through those uh, vegetation. c'était bien difficile de voir à travers cette végétation. And I'd also like to uh, ask you about a statement made by your fellow guard, Sim, Sim who you identified last week as part of your six-man unit. In OCIJ interview D40-20 at Khmer 00165334, English 00-43-35-35-73 and French 00-52-43-22. This is what your fellow guard uh, said about prisoner interrogations. Quote, From what I could sneak a look at, when cooking nearby, I saw them beating and interrogating and researching. Sometimes they put plastic cloths over their faces and beat them as they interrogated. Some prisoners were beaten to death at the interrogation site. End of quote. First of all, uh, does this refresh your recollection that there was a location nearby the interrogation site where at least one guard in your unit sometimes cooked food. Uh, yes, uh, sometimes a guard uh, from a uh, unit also Parfois, did the cooking. De mon However, during the interrogation first, we were not allowed uh, to go near. Nous pas à nous we couldn't hear uh, what they nous were speaking. Pas ce qu se we uh, sometimes could hear the screaming, Parfois, but not uh, the words that they uh, said prononcés. in the room. Were there plastic bags Question. that were kept and Des used at the interrogation site. Et utilisé à l'endroit où se déroulaient les interrogatoires. Mark. Réponse. I didn't know about that. Je n'en sais rien. Were there Question. weapons kept at the Des interrogation site such as clubs or sticks? Par exemple, des bâtons I did not enter that room, so I did réponse. not know. Je ne suis pas entré dans cette salle, et donc je n'en sais rien. Uh, last week, uh, you told us that at times passée, your six-man unit vous avez dit que votre was unité de six split into two groups, personnes étaient parfois with three of you guarding the east building and three of you bâtiment guarding bâtiment the west building, the west detention building. 
when you were assigned to work at the buildings, did the guards in your unit help bring prisoners les gardiens de votre unité who were to be interrogated from the detention buildings les prisonniers to the interrogation site? Depuis les bâtiments de détention vers le site de l'interrogatoire quand vous étiez affecté à ces endroits no, Réponse. Uh, we did not. Non. We were a guard group to guard the outer de parameter of the prison compound. And only at night time were we allowed to guard near the entrance into the prison compound. But during the daytime, we were at the outer part of the prison compound itself, not the inner part. La journée, nous étions à l'extérieur. You, when you testified Question. last week la that three of you passée, would guard the east building and three the west building, where trois was it that you were located when you were guarding those prisoner Où buildings? Étiez-vous quand vous montiez la garde près de ces bâtiments servant à la détention des prisonniers? I guarded the Question. east building. Réponse: Je montais la garde au bâtiment de l'est. And during the periods Question. of time where you guarded the East Building, where were you located? Au bâtiment de l'Est, où vous trouviez-vous? The uh, guard Réponse. post was through the East of la, the prison building itself. It was about uh, 20 meters from the East de prison building. However, when we were on uh, guard duty est. for that building, for example, we would come closer to the guard uh, build to the uh, prison uh, building, and we were uh, sitting there. De garde, cependant, nous nous approchions du bâtiment de la prison et nous étions assis là-bas. And during those periods when you were close Question. to the detention vous building, étiez près du bâtiment were de there détention? occasions where you helped? to bring prisoners out of the detention building and to bring them back into the building after they were interrogated. À l'extérieur du bâtiment de détention pour ensuite les y ramener après l'interrogatoire. I'd like to uh, clarify at this point again. Laissez-moi my six men unit mon groupe de six personnes part of the uh, prison staff. Ne faisait pas partie du personnel we de la prison. were allowed only to guard at the field outside, monter la garde and à involving the guards or the taking prisoner to the interrogation room or bring them back was uh, the responsibility of uh, the part of the prison staff there, and le we were de la prison part of it. Et non pas nous-mêmes qui étaient chargés d'amener um, Mr. Witness, I want to read a, another excerpt Question. from the book of Meng Tri Yi. This is E3 slash 2120. Uh, it is only in English at page 00416393. Uh, and as I mentioned to you last week, he has dit, a number of uh, statements that he describes having obtained Il from a Kran to Chan typist uh, Sok Chanta alias Doich. And his book includes the following. Quote, Chanta was stationed Chanta north of the interrogation room, so he often heard screams coming from it. He explained that torture occurred when the prisoner did not satisfy the interrogator and torture was sometimes carried out until the prisoner was bloody from head to toe. He came unconscious and occasionally reached the point of death. Did you see prisoners, Mr. Witness, who after their interrogation appeared to have been beaten. Après les interrogatoires semblaient avoir été passés à tabac. To respond Réponse. to your question, 
regarding the person by the name of Chanta Elias Dutch. Vous m'interrogez sur Chanta Elias Dutch. I do not know that person. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Absolument pas. Did you ever see prisoners Avez-vous jamais vu des prisonniers qui semblaient avoir été frappés Yes, Réponse. I did. Oui. Prisoners who were beaten, I, I saw them, but I did not see it on a daily basis. J'en ai vu, mais pas tous les jours. Sometimes I saw prisoners who were probably tortured severely. Qui devaient avoir été However, I did not know how. They were tortured, Mais je ne sais pas uh, comment ils avaient été torturés ou interrogés. Where was it that you would see Question. prisoners Où in this condition? Où voyez-vous des prisonniers dans un tel état? I Réponse. saw uh, the prisoners after. Uh, they finished their interrogations and those prisoners Après were brought back in through the uh, prisoners' building. Ont été au lieu de détention. And can you tell us who it was, Question. to your knowledge, that conducted the interrogations of prisoners at Krang Chan during the time you worked there? Pendant que vous y travaillez. I cannot Réponse. recall it clearly. Je ne m'en souviens pas bien. As I said, I did not Comme have any dit, uh, role or responsibility at the Krang Tachan office. The chief of Krang Tachan office was Lei An, and his deputy was Duk. I myself was under the supervision of uh, the army, and I was not under the direct supervision Je of the uh, prison chief. Du chef de prison. Um, Mr. Witness, during the time that you worked Question. right Question. inside the prison chief's Question. office, Question. typing documents for him, were you under his supervision at that time? No, I was not. When I uh, typed, usually they already set up the typewriter with the blank sheet of paper there on the desk, and then they would send someone to call me to come in and do the typing, and after I finish the typing it, then I would just left, would just go back to my post. We'll come back to the typing of documents uh, in just a moment. Um, before I get to that, um, during the time you were that you were at Krang Tachan, uh, did the prisoners at Krang Tachan include a woman named Ye Na and some of her children? Answer, when I was at that place, uh, these people were already, had already been there. Ces personnes, je lorsque comment. je suis arrivé, ces personnes étaient and déjà là. I did not know when they were detained. Et je ne sais pas quand ces personnes sont arrivées ou y ont été arrêtées. Let me make sure I understand. You're saying that uh, there were, you remember a prisoners, uh, a woman named Ye Na and her children, but they were already at Krang Tachan at the time you arrived? Uh, did I understand you correctly? Answer yes, that is correct. I want to uh, turn now uh, to the subject of the reports or documents uh, that were prepare, prepared at Krang Tachan. And in your OCIJ interview, D. 232 slash 93 at answer number 10, 
You stated that you were assigned to type documents such as prisoners' handwritten reports. And in answer 59, you stated, quote, they had me type by copying from handwritten notebooks, end of quote. Who was it that provided those handwritten notebooks to you? Answer. Réponse. The statement was already in the, the handwritten no notebook, and the Tout notebook was the placed de on the table, and I was asked to do table, the typing from uh, the statement in the written notebook. À partir de ce cahier. And who, who was it that asked you to Question. do the typing? Qui vous demandez de dactylographier? Bad. Answer. Sometime when the Anne was absent, Deutsch uh, told me <coughs> to do the typing, and if uh, Deutsch uh, was not in the office, I, uh, I was the one who do the typing. Uh, let me read from your statement E319.1.25. At answer 34. Question. Who sent you the documents to type? Answer. Lang An and Deutsch gave the documents to me to type, and as soon as I finished typing, I left the room. End of quote. Does that refresh your recollection that it was either prison chief An? or his deputy, Deutsch, who gave you the handwritten notebooks to type. Answer, yes, uh, these two people uh, could call me and asked me to do the typing. I could only know the basic typing and I could replace them to do the typing whenever they were absent. Now, I understand that you uh, say that you were not the person named Sok Chanta who was interviewed by Meng Tri Yi. Uh, nonetheless, he interviewed someone who indicated they were a typist at Crank Chan. And in uh, E3-2120, at page 00416394, in English only, uh, he recounted uh, the following information from that typist about the preparation of prisoner confessions. Quote, the Tramcock Center had a two-stage interrogation process. First, An asked questions and Cheng took notes. Cheng wrote down the prisoners' confessions in a book. In some cases, security cadres used tape recorders. Later, those confession notes were provided to An. Next, An gave the book to Chanta for typing. Chanta explained that next, An took the confessions that I had typed and sent them to the higher echelon for examination and decision. End of quote. My first question, uh, do you remember a cadre named Cheng who was part of the prison leadership at Krang Tachan? Answer. I would like to tell the court that the person 
named Chen and another person named Dam. These two Chen people were already at uh, the security office. Déjà au bureau de sécurité. I could, uh, when I was there, I could see Dam uh, was already Lorsque there. And as for Chen, uh, he had Chen gone to another place already. I did not know where he went. And I could see only Dam who was detained je at the uh, security office. Au de sécurité. And I did not know the two people, and uh, I je did not recognize them, personnes. and I did not know when they started working at je that place. Ne sais pas quand ces ont à à cet was Cheng there uh, at any time uh, during the period you were at Krang Tachan, or had he already left when you arrived? But answer. There was no the person by the name as you mentioned. Actually, when I was there, I did not see this person. In your interview, D232-93 at answer number 30, uh, you provided the following description of the notebooks that were provided to you at Krang Tachan for typing. Quote, I received the name lists which were handwritten from the chairman. For that paper list, it was written in the book whose covers carried titles, writing book, and multiplication of cells, end of quote. And in answers 32 to 33 from that same statement, quote, question, the name lists the chairman brought you to type, were they on paper or in books? Answer, it was the book which had 10 or 20 pages it was the writing book for children to write. Question, on the book cover, were there any other marks? Answer, on the book cover, there were no other writing besides pictures, such as a picture of children or that of Angkor Wat, end of quote. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I would like to provide at this time document E3-4092, E3-4092, uh, provide this to the witness to see if he recognizes it. And I would also request to show the cover page of that document on the screen with your leave. The chamber grants uh, your request. Now, Mr. Witness, I, I want you to uh, first look at the cover page of E3-4092, if we can show that on the screen also. Uh, this cover page contains a picture or drawing of children writing and a multiplication table. My question, is this the type of notebook that was provided to you for typing? at Krang Tachan. Answer, no, it was not this book. No. It was not this type of ce book. Pas ce type de this book was, I could see this book at the time, and there were full of uh, names in this book. And as for the confession, it was written on a piece of paper taken from this book. So the confession was not written in this book. Mr. Witness, the books that you saw at Krang Tachan, did they have 
a cover page like the document you are looking at right now. Answer. Yes, I, I saw this book. And could you look at the handwriting in this book, E34092, and tell us whether you recognize whose handwriting this is? Answer, I did not recall and I did not recognize this handwriting. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, I'd like to uh, provide you now a document uh, E3 slash 2421. E3 slash 2421. Uh, the ERN pages, Mr. President, are Khmer 00271176 through 77, English 00322201 through 02, and French 00628. 38, 32 through 33. Uh, it is a uh, report, typed report uh, from the uh, Crank de Chen chairman on. With your leave, uh, may I provide this to the witness? President, you are allowed to do so. Uh, Mr. Witness, if you could look at the document that's just been provided to you, uh, which is a 5 July 1978 typed report from ON, and in your uh, OCIJ statement D232-93 at answer 70 to 71, you were shown this document and confirmed that you used to type these kinds of documents. Can you tell us whether this is one of the types of records uh, that you typed at Krang Tachan using the handwritten notes that were provided to you? But more answer. I did not recall it. Because the type uh, reports uh, were of similar nature, and I did not know whether this type report uh, uh, was typed by me. Uh, just so you're clear, I'm not asking you whether this, you can confirm 30 years, 40 years later, that this is a document that you typed yourself. What I'm asking is whether this is the type of document that you typed uh, while you were working at Krang Tachan. Answer. As for this record, uh, yes, it is true. Oui. And what I'd like you to do now, uh, if you could, is take the notebook that I provided to you, a document E34092, 
And if you could turn uh, in that notebook to pages Khmer 0027-1156 through 57. And I've put a tab at that page to make it easy for you. Uh, the pages in English 0083-4818. Through one nine, French zero zero seven two one two nine eight through nine nine. And if you would compare the handwritten notes at those pages to the typed document that I just provided, can you confirm for me uh, that the type record uh, is based almost verbatim? on the handwritten notes for the seven prisoners that is listed. Answer. There was an other book uh, with the same uh, cover, and I did not re uh, recall uh, it. When I was at Je that place, uh, I could see uh, the book uh, as I uh, described, and I did not recall and recognize uh, this type of uh, book. And I understand that you don't remember 30 years later whether a specific document was one you typed. Uh, but in general, um, can you confirm that the process uh, that you followed when you typed documents was to take the handwritten notes that were given to you and type them up verbatim into a report that was then signed by Chairman Ahn. Answer. No, it was not like that. Uh, I would like to confirm uh, once again. And the confession was written on a piece of paper. It was uh, written on a piece of paper, and after that, uh, this piece of paper with the confession in, in it uh, was uh, given to me, and uh, I was asked to type uh, uh, this confess, uh, the uh, statement. I understand. What I'm asking you is, did you take the handwritten notes of confessions that were given to you on paper and turn those into a typed report that would be signed by prison chairman on answer yes that is true if you could um, return to the typed report that I provided to you, uh, document E3 slash 2421, uh, the 5 July 1978 report, at the very top of that document, it reads Education Office District 105. Uh, was Krang Tachan referred to in the documents you typed uh, as the District 105 Education or Re-Education Office? Answer, I did not know about this. Je n'en savais rien. For the heading, it was written as the Education Office District 105. And was Tramcock District called District 105? Le centre de Tramcock était appelé Centre de rééducation du District 105. 
Answer, yes, that is true. Also at exactly the top the of this document, uh, the report is addressed as the follows, question. quote, respectfully report to the party the prisoner confessions as follows, end of quote. Did prison chief Ahn or deputy de Deutsch uh, instruct you on how the reports or who the report should be addressed to, in this case, to the party? Réponse. Answer. Yes, that is true. This oui, report exact. was submitted and sent to the party, and I did not know where the party was. Now, this particular report Accusation. concerns a group of seven alleged traitors whose purported leader was a former Law Null lieutenant and who is accused of expressing the following views or opinions, reading from the report, quote, in the old regime, we were very happy. We had money. We could eat whatever we wanted. We could go anywhere we wanted. We could have sex with girls, drink wine, and gamble anytime we wished. We cannot live in this regime since it is very difficult. End of quote. My question uh, to you, Mr. Witness, is can you tell us whether one of the groups or types of people that you saw imprisoned at Krang Tachan were people like this who were accused of criticizing or opposing the democratic Kampuchea regime? Answer, yes, that is correct. During that regime, even, even if we complained that we could not have enough food, we would be uh, sent away. So that what I saw during the regime. And could you look at the uh, second page at the very end of this report? And could you tell me uh, if you recognize the signature or handwriting at the end of the report? Witness, I uh, did not understand the question. Uh, please repeat it. Can you look at the end of the document and tell me, do you recognize uh, who it was that signed uh, this report? Answer. Uh, this report was signed Réponse. by Anne. Ce rapport est signé par Anne. Were uh, all the reports Question. you typed at Krang Tachan uh, signed by Prison Chief Anne? Les rapports que vous or were there other cadres uh, who sometimes signed, signed par those Anne reports? D'autres cadres signaient-ils parfois ces rapports? Answer. When I finished the typing, there was no one there to put the signature. Uh, in the group, there were two or three uh, people, and I did not know their names. Uh, these people were the ones who put the signature. At uh, interview D-232, 
slash 93 Dans answers 37 to 38, you gave the following testimony. 94. Question. Réponse. Did you know where the document was sent to? Answer. I heard that it had been sent to the upper level, but I did not know where it had been sent to. End of quote. My question is, uh, did Krang Tachan have messengers who would deliver documents from the prison to the district office? Matt. Answer, yes, Réponse. there were pass uh, messengers oui, and I did not know their names. The documents were delivered by uh, messengers and I did not know messagers. those messengers' names. Do you remember how many messengers Question. there were who worked at the, uh, at the prison? Bad. Answer, I did not know how many messengers uh, at that place. Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to now provide another uh, type report for the witness to review, uh, which is document E3-2425, again E3-2425. With your leave. President, your request is granted. Vous y êtes autorisé. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, You've previously confirmed you were shown this document in interview D232-93 at answer 56 and confirmed that it was a Krang Tachan document from on. Let me ask you a few more questions about this report. Uh, in this report, of a of the confessions or statements of two Dans former law no soldiers, one named Om Chanta and another named Hok Bunli. Bunli. The uh, two former law no soldiers were accused <coughs> of stealing coconuts and cassava root to eat. Walking about freely and pretending to be ill and unable to work. My question to you is Did the present prisoners who were sent to Krang Tachan include people like this who were accused of stealing food to eat or pre pretending to be sick and too tired to work? faisait semblant d'être trop fatigué ou malade et donc ne pouvait pas travailler. Mr. Winners, please Le président on. témoin, you veuillez patienter. Uh, La parole est à la défense. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm, I'm reading président. the document as well. Moi aussi, je lis ce um, document. And I see and I read that um, il est indiqué the, the involved people stole very often and repeatedly without deterrence. So I would like to have a full quote that we are talking not somebody who stole once something, le but apparently repeated ce thieves, pas un vol um, ponctuel, people who were stealing very often. So if, if, if we are uh, being given quotes, I would like si to have a full quote from, uh, un document, from that document. Il faut le citer intégralement. That is correct. And what they were stealing was food, coconuts, roots, coco, sugar. Racines, my sucre. question again, Mr. Witness, Je répète ma question, Monsieur le uh, did the prisoners uh, who were sent to Krang Tachan include people Parmi les who were accused of Tachan, stealing food y en avait to eat qui volé or à manger, pretending to be sick ou and unable to work? Pour ne pas 
Answer. The prisoners uh, who were sent there were accused of uh, stealing food and pretending to be de voler de la nourriture and lazy. et de faire semblant d'être malades et d'être paresseux. I, I, uh, sorry to interrupt again. La défense, um, excusez-moi cette nouvelle interruption. Je lis à nouveau ce rapport. Um, the OCP is uh, not mentioning the fact that uh, the two prisoners involved que les deux were soldiers étaient des soldats uh, bearing uh, insignia qui of, des and I quote, and a si je ghost cite, skull die hard. So apparently these are two soldiers from a certain uh, unit. So just uh, portraying that these were um, people who just stole some coconut is not uh, active, uh, accurately reflecting this particular document. So I think if we are quoting documents from Krang Tachan, we should do it uh, all the way. Il faut le faire de façon uh, Mr. President, I've already noted that these were law null soldiers. Uh, I don't think I'm obligated to uh, describe the tattoo that one of them had. Uh, and counsel is certainly entitled to uh, question the witness about this himself. Um, so with your leave, I'd like to proceed to the next document. Um, which is E3 uh, slash 4083. Uh, it is another notebook uh, with the same cover page as the one that was provided before. With your leave, if I may provide E3 4083 to the witness. Yes, you can proceed. Le président, je vous en prie, allez-y. Now, Mr. Witness, um, if you could look at Monsieur first témoin, at the cover page of uh, this notebook, de de um, like the one I showed you before, Comme dans le it has a picture of children uh, writing and a multiplication table. Uh, can you first uh, confirm that this is uh, one of the notebooks that you saw being used at Krang to Chan? Vous avez vu this type of notebook. Je parle du type de carnet. Yes, that Réponse. is correct. Effectivement. This is one of the uh, notebooks that I carnets used to see, or at least it was similar to those notebooks that I saw. En tout cas, celui-ci ressemble à ceux que je voyais. Question. This notebook uh, appears to consist of a prisoner list uh, rather than notes of confessions or interrogations. And if you could first turn to a Khmer page 0068026, which I've marked uh, for you. Uh, this is English page 0032394848. Three nine four eight and French zero zero seven seven eight eight five five through five six and in the very middle of the right side of Khmer page uh, six eight oh two six uh, are the names of the same two prisoners that we were just discussing a few minutes ago. Uh, Om Chanta and Pak Bunli, the two former Law Knoll soldiers who were, had been accused of stealing coconuts and cassava roots. My first question looking at this page, uh, do you recognize the handwriting on this page or do you know who wrote this list? No, I do not recognize this non, handwriting. I did not know who wrote it. Je ne sais pas qui est de ces and on that page, Question. there are X's page. marked next to the names of 
most of the uh, prisoners on that page X and on the next page, uh, are you able to tell us what those X's signify? Uh, what did it mean if a prisoner had an X marked to his name, marked next to his name? I did not know uh, the significance of Réponse. the marking. Je n'en sais rien. If you could turn a couple of pages Question. later in the document Quelque at 00 068028, there are a number of prisoners uh, who are noted as having been moved to Meng's place in late 1978. Now, last uh, week, on Thursday, you described there being a group of prisoners who were transferred from Krang to Chan to another prison in late 1978 or early 1979. Uh, can you tell us uh, whether uh, the prisoners on this list uh, were part of the group that was transferred from Krang to Chan uh, in late 1978. I cannot recall that, however, pas. in uh, late 1978, étant, prisoners were sent out and I did not know where they were sent to. À Mais but in, in fact, there was, the, there was a sending out of uh, groups of uh, prisoners. Des de prisonniers ont bien été Do you know Question. who Meng was? This document refers to transferring Meng. prisoners to Meng's place. Who was Meng? I do not recognize him. On the same page, uh, there are uh, notes recording that a number of the prisoners had died of illness. Um, my question, uh, are you able to tell us uh, who it was at Krang Tachan who was responsible for recording names or keeping track of prisoners who died from illness? I do not know uh, who would do that. To me, it seems there was no one who was responsible for that. And uh, the last uh, part of this document I want to Question. refer you to, if you could turn uh, to the, uh, towards the end, at Khmer 00. 000 Zero six eight zero three six. Um, there is a handwritten list uh, at this page. Uh, can you tell me whether you recognize the handwriting on page six eight zero three six? No, I cannot recall it and Réponse. I don't recognize je it. Ne pas et je ne reconnais pas cela. In this list, um, the first 20 people on it are described Les 20 as being a network of 20 traders comme, comme whose offense consisted of planning to escape to Vietnam or Thailand. Vers le Vietnam ou la Thailand. Can you tell us whether one of the types of prisoners at Krang Tachan were people accused of planning or trying to escape democratic Kampuchea? and flee to Vietnam or Thailand.
réponse. No, I can recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Uh, Mr. Witness, prisoner number. Pri La défense um, interrompt. Mr. President, I, do not, I did not object uh, to Je the questions raised. Um, however, I do note that Mais the particular page that the prosecution is referring to uh, is completely different than the other pages. Qui um, est radicalement différente it des seems autres. not necessarily the case that this page is in fact part of the same document. Cette page ne so, fait pas um, du although, même like I said, no objection to the questions itself, I je think that's something that should be noted. La um, posée, there is a, je pense um, fallait as you can see, the, the, the background on peut le voir, Color and the la lines are completely different. So we have no way in checking whether this page is in fact part of the same document, si which leads me to the problem in general document. of all these documents. Qui pose un uh, plus we do not have the originals of any que of nous them. Ne so les um, de ces I think my remarks should be reflected um, as to the general problems that we have regarding these documents. Il donc so, un I don't know, again, if this page is in fact part of répète, that same document. Pas si cette page fait partie du même document. The counsel is free to explore this in his questioning. This is an admitted record. Um, may I proceed with my next question? Pourra aborder la question durant son propre interrogatoire. C'est ici un document qui est dûment versé au dossier. J'aimerais passer à la suite. Ah, President, uh, that is appropriate, although this, uh, there is a different strategies by the uh, opposing parties. However, make sure that uh, your question is clear of which document uh, you referred to. Bien à à quel the time is now uh, appropriate for a short break. We will take a break now and uh, return at 10.30. And, uh, Court officer, please assist the witness during the break, including his uh, duty counsel, and have them return to the courtroom at 10:30. That is before the commencement of uh, the hearing. The court is now in recess.